This is how to edit your Papa's Freezeria game save, playing on Cool Math Games. So, to get the save, you're gonna go ahead and need a save file to edit, and it needs to be past day one. So you need to complete the tutorial if you haven't, and then you can do this trick. So here, I have one, it's rank one, it's on day two, but we can do this. So we're gonna right-click anywhere but the game, go down to Inspect, open up the Developer tool, Go up here to Application, then over on the left under Storage, Local Storage, select the one that says Cool Math Games, and you're looking for the key that says Papa's Freezeria. This might be at the bottom or the top, depending on which order you're sorting it in. So here is our saved game, and you are right that it does not look like a traditional saved game. It's actually encoded in base 64, so meaning it's just going to look like a string of numbers, and we've got to decode it to get it into something recognizable. So copy of this value, you're going to copy from the comma over, so everything starting with the C. And then we're going to have to decode this. I'm using Python. This is a free online Python interpreter. This code here will be in the description, just copy and paste it in exactly like that. And then you are going to take your saved game file and put it here in between the quotes. So you should see encode data equals quote C bunch of text close quote. Go ahead and run this and you'll see the output, the decoded output, now looks like something more like a save file. Player name, rank, day, this is what we're going to edit. So I'm going to take this, copy it, then down here, these last two lines, uncomment them by getting rid of the hashtags in front, and paste this text right here in the parentheses. So once I paste it in, you can see it starts with B apostrophe slash N, a lot of text ends with a quote. And then if I go ahead and run it, you can see I've taken my save file, I've decoded it into this, and then down here, the last line of code is recoding it back into a string. And they should match for the most part. So to edit our file, we're going to look here on this line and see we can change our name, we can change our rank. Um, so if I want to change the rank, here I'd see my rank. And then slash x04 just says whatever's going to be next interpreted as a number. So the actual rank is right here, slash x01, which I'm going to be changing to 7. And then the day, my save file is on day 2, so I can change that to 9. Uh, my score, see there, slash x040. I don't know why it's saved as O, it should be a score of like 80 or something. Then here under tips, if I go to my save file, I should have $3.19 in tips, which it has stored as x82. I'm not sure exactly what the relationship between this and how it goes from 82 to 300, but I do know if you want more money, all you do is just increase this number, and then same thing over here, all money, increase that number and you should be good. Then down here, this thing unlocked, these are all the characters you can unlock, all the way to wherever it says stars, somewhere. All these zeros are, there it is. All these zeros represent people you haven't unlocked, and then the ones represent people you have unlocked. Then if we scroll down a bit, stars, all the ones we haven't unlocked, seals, Visits to, I think those are how many times your customers has visited, whether your customer has visited you first. And then finally here, this is probably what you'll want, toppings. You can see we've unlocked, it says we've unlocked a good chunk of them. We have about 15 or 10 ones here. Then if I want more toppings, I can just change all of these slash x zeros to be slash x ones and do not change any of the fours. So it's important it stays as a four. Okay, toppings revealed just tracks. Have I shown you that you've unlocked this topping yet? Bonuses, I don't play the game enough to know what that means. And then down here, ribbons, inventories. These are how many blue ribbons you've gotten, or yes. 
And then inventory, what's in your inventory, what's in your lobby, what your current flooring is, your current wallpaper, the medals you have earned, the progress to your medals. And then down here, have you been trained in how to do various things? Have you visited the lobby? How much furniture do you have down? All that stuff. So you can mess around with this. And then once you're done editing your save file, Go ahead and rerun it, and it will generate a new saved code for you. So I'm going to copy this, go back to my game, back to my developer tools. Then here, I'm going to paste it in right, just on the right. So I need to keep this away three comma, paste it in here, enter to make sure it updated. Go back to my game, refresh, and see if it worked. Okay, so we go back into our game. We are now ranked 7. Go ahead and select. And see, now I have $32 in tips. And we can continue. I've unlocked some new customer, which I'm sure I've unlocked anyways. There's cookie dough I got for day 2. But then once we get into the game, you can see it's actually day 9. And then if we go to the topping station, see, I've got a couple of toppings that I shouldn't have already. Blueberry sauce, cookies, and build station still have the same cup. So you can play around with this. You can unlock different customers way up here. You can unlock uh, visits, different toppings, different metals. You could change where's ribbons. There it is. Change how many ribbons you have to get a discount. If at any time you paste this in and your save file gets deleted, just Undo what you've done, make sure you're saving each of these, make sure you keep your original one so you don't lose your save file. And if it deletes your save file, just plug this back in and you should get your old save back before you edited anything. Again, this code will be in the description. I'll also put in this code, the one starting with C, if you just want to avoid editing it and just take this one where I've unlocked a couple of toppings for you already. And that should be it.